Hello, my name's Lorraine, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use the new combine menu. So I've started off just with two simple shapes on my canvas just to demonstrate how each one works and the results that you get from each one. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to select those two shapes. And what you'll see in this menu, we've got weld, unite, subtract, intersect and exclude. Now weld and unite are the same. The difference being with weld, once you've welded your items together, you can only undo it when you're within that project. Once you've saved and you leave and you go back in, you'll find that you cannot undo that weld. All of these that sit here, unite, subtract, intersect and exclude, can all be undone at a later time when you open your project. So if we do weld, what you'll see is we end up with one layer and the, sh the shapes are welded together. Now we can undo that at this stage. What we wouldn't be able to do is undo it once we've saved and we go back in, we would be stuck with that shape. Now, if we have a look at Unite, we get exactly the same view. So they're both welded together. However, as you can see, we have two layers. So even if we save this and we go back in, it will show, show us two layers and we come down here and we can undo it. Okay, next one we'll look at is the subtract. Now with subtract, subtract will take away the top layer from the bottom layer and anywhere where it intersects. So if we do that one, you'll see the plus sign has gone and we're left with where it overlapped that shape at the bottom. Now, the, as you can see, this is still there, which means we can come down here and we can undo. Okay. The next one we'll look at is intersect. Intersect. With this one, when we click that one, we'll be left with where these two shapes intersect with each other. We'll be left with that part. So if we do that, as you can see, we're left with that. Again, the two layers are there. Okay. And we can, again, come down here and undo. The final one is exclude. With exclude, it's the opposite to the intersect. So what this will do is where it's overlapping, it will take away that part and leave us with the two outer shapes. This is quite nice for making patterns and things. I, I quite like using this one if I want to repeat a pattern to come up with quite a nice shape. Again, we can undo that one. Um, I did what I didn't mention when we do uh, subtract at, at the looking at this one I have the plus in front of so my plus is my top layer and the square is my bottom layer so when we do subtract it's the top layer that it takes away if we wanted to do the opposite so if we wanted to just take away the square along with the part that where it's intersecting. If we make that at the front and then highlight them and do subtract, you'll see that's what it does. It's taken away that whole piece and that piece. So this is very similar to slice. And in, you know, it can be easier than slice to be honest with you. And there you go, there you have it. Thank you for watching.